Nowadays we have access to literally tens of millions of music tracks. The question is how to discover new music you like. It's hard to see the wood from the trees. This series of videos might help you a bit. I started this series after shazamming on hi-fi shows and product introductions. I made playlists of the tracks I had gathered and realized they might be interesting to you too. And since I don't know your taste nor the quality of your stereo, it's an eclectic collection of music. It has music from my country, Belgium, Norway, Britain and the States. I made playlists in both Tidal and Cobus. See the links in the description below this video on YouTube. Comme il faut is the phonetically written version of the French comme il faut, meaning properly. It is a Flemish theatre group led by the brothers Raf and Mitch Welschaerts. This song is a Flemish translation of Nature Boy, the old Nat King Cole hit, written by the American songwriter Eden Abbess. It has been covered countless times. Rune already reports over 1500 covers. The most impressive one for me is the cover by David Bowie for the movie Moulin Rouge. Comic Faux's version is about the opposite, starting with a very well recorded upright bass and a fantastic singing voice. During the song, guitar, piano and accordion are added. The piano solo in the middle is also recorded fantastically. It is a recording that is both musically and sound-wise a gem. Slightly more to the north you find the Dutch province of Limburg. Here in 2015 heaven was founded. Film score composer Jorrit Kleine and singer-songwriter Martijn van der Meer were brought together to do the music for a Volvo TV commercial. That was followed up by the work for a BMW commercial. Many shazam the song, so the duo decided to release the music. No Man's Land is a kind of slow dance song with added orchestra. That accompanying orchestra is the house orchestra of the Great Galaxy Studios in Mol, Belgium. For people that have watched my earlier music suggestion videos, Anne Brun is not a stranger nor her live recordings. The light from one starts with drums. Then added piano and voice. After that the song is built up with backing vocals and bass. It's a very open recording with a very nice acoustic environment. Even in the fortissimo semi-end. In fact all work by Brun is worth listening to. Born in Puerto Rico, Rios moved to Belgium at the age of 18. Voodoo Child is the Jimi Hendrix composition but is fully unplugged and turned upside down. It starts up on acoustic guitar and voice and that stays on the entire song, only being supported by some light piano work and finger clicking and simple sound effects. The first time I heard this song I couldn't place it. I needed the sleeve to know it was Voodoo Child. Nevertheless it's a fantastic cover of a great song by a great musician. Now let's get back in time with Buddy Holly, although this album is released in 1987, while Holly died in an aircraft accident in 1959 at the age of 22. The Beechcraft Bonanza, a four-seater single-piston engine aircraft, was hired to fly him and some members of his band to the next gig. They never arrived. The album title implies it was cut directly from the original master tapes. Whether that is true or not, Especially this track sounds lovely. It has the 50s sound and is a good example of how well the recordings were then. A great stereo image, very clean yet involved voice, just listen to it. I couldn't find this album on Tybal and Cobus, but I found the same track with the same quality on other albums. The British band Emerson Lake and Palmer were popular in the 70s. They were very well known for their use of synthesizers that were the now very popular analog ones those days. This track starts out with acoustic guitar 
but ends with a legendary synth solo. For a band that was known as Prog Rock Band, this is a tame song, but lovely nevertheless. The Texan Karen Michelle Johnston composes and sings under the name Michel Schacht, allegedly referring to the shell shock phenomenon. This track is just a very fine sounding, nice rock track with a very tight drum and bass and a very great vocal. It was used for the motion picture Dead Man Walking. Rhiannon Giddens is a singer-songwriter, banjo player and violist from Greensboro, North Carolina. She studied opera at the Oberlin Conservatoire. She has done quite some investigation into traditional American music, in particular the forgotten tradition of black string orchestras. Birmingham Sunday is a kind of traditional song but has several influences, for instance from gospel. Movie soundtracks often sound bigger than life. Some find it over the top, I like it from time to time. That goes for the music from for instance Zorro and the Prince of Egypt and for this track. It was used for the sixth season of the HBO series Game of Thrones and was composed by Ramon Diawadi. It's just under two minutes long but it's like Brussels waffles with a lot of chantilly on top. As said, it's an eclectic collection of tracks that have two things in common. They sound great and I heard them on a hi-fi show or product introduction. Links to Tidal and Cobus playlist are in the comments. Enjoy and see you next week, Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video in the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially, especially in these times. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you on the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.